In the back of most athletes' minds are the thoughts of retirement, the time when he or she will make the decision to hang them up and walk away from the sport they love. Unfortunately for Garrett Gomez, that decision was made for him last year, when a hockey's playoff game during his sophomore season ended with him collapsing on the bench due to a heart condition. It's called sustained ventricular arrhythmias. The game, obviously, against Notre Dame was the first time that I realized that I had something like this. I had felt it the night before. I was in the hospital for 12 days before I came to Providence as a freshman. And that stuff was a bit hard to find out, you know, when we have no kind of evidence of anything, you know, happening until just now. The first time that I realized it was the game when I, when I did collapse. In one of the toughest two days of his life, Garrett still found a silver lining to an otherwise grim situation. After the collapse, it was honestly, I think it was the best situation I could have had uh, given the circumstances. Mr. Driscoll actually came with me to the, in the ambulance to the hospital. He stayed with me until after the game where Kyle Murphy came and he stayed with me overnight. I also had a family that was watching me that was my billet family when I was playing juniors in Nebraska. They were able to come to the, to the hospital with me and be able to talk to my parents. After a few months of testing and waiting, late in the summer, Garrett made the difficult choice. We knew all along that was the problem. It was just, you know, were they happening, you know, more than I wanted them to? And, and if so, you know, is this something that has concerns over, you know, my, my health, over my life? And um, so on August 7th, that's when I made the decision to retire. Retirement may have come easier to Garrett after head coach Nate Lehman told him that there was still a spot for him in Friartown. And so after m making that decision, I gave him a call up and, you know, he, he just told me, he goes, you know, you're making the right decision and the best decision for your, for your life and for your family. And then he's like, well, now, you, you know, you're going to be working with Teresa a lot and us and you can sit in on all the meetings and stuff like that. I've had a lot of fun with it, you know, be, doing video with Teresa or talking to the team, talking with the coaches. It's been a big like, eye opener to me as well, seeing really the coaching side and seeing how many different aspects come into having a successful organization. It's been pretty awesome to see. Garrett is on track to graduate from Providence with an accounting and finance degree. And while he has considered a career in accounting before his incident, this brief stint in coaching has his interest peaked. It's one of the things where we at, at some point in our lives always think, you know, what are we going to do after hockey? And I've always thought, you know, oh, I want to I want to pursue I want to pursue accounting, I want to pursue finance. But now having this kind of little jump back and looking at this, it, it has inspired me a little bit to, you know, get into coaching or something like that. Or if not, I, I know I'll have a great degree in finance and accounting to, to stand back on and, and pursue accounting. Over the course of one summer, he went from being Garrett the teammate to Garrett the assistant coach. For him, the transition has given him the opportunity to stop focusing on his own game and focus on helping others improve theirs. You know, I try to try to do it mostly in a friendly nature. You know, I'm not going to be here telling the guys that hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. If someone you know does need a talking to, I'm sure coach is there for, to do that. But with that being said, it's been, it's been a good time. Like I've been able to really look at guys play and maybe give them tips on stuff where you know when you're playing, you're just kind of focused on yourself. And so watching guys on the ice and obviously seeing what they do, I can give them tips and stuff to help them or tell them what coach is looking for more. Uh, kind of be that soft guidance to, to help them with whatever, whatever they need help with. While graduation is still off in the distance, Garrett has ideas for how he plans to handle his post-Providence college career. For this decision, much like many others in his life, he's looking for guidance from above. So I'm engaged, so I'll be married, just trying to get our lives started and stuff like that. And really either coaching or, you know, working in a business field somewhere. It's either one of the two ways. I'm praying a lot about it, saying, God, what do you want me to do next? And kind of leaving it at that for now. For Friars All Access, I'm Nick Rojas.